Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's video is Satellite. What is a satellite? A satellite is a moon, planet or machine that orbits a planet or star. For example, Earth is a satellite because it orbits the sun. Likewise, the moon is a satellite because it orbits Earth. Usually, the word satellite refers to a machine that is launched into space and moves around Earth or another body in space. Earth and the moon are examples of natural satellites. Thousands of artificial, or man-made, satellites orbit Earth. Some take pictures of the planet that help meteorologists predict weather and track hurricanes. Some take pictures of other planets, the sun, black holes, dark matter or faraway galaxies. Still other satellites are used mainly for communications, such as beaming TV signals and phone calls around the world. A group of more than 20 satellites make up the Global Positioning System, or GPS. If you have a GPS receiver, these satellites can help figure out your exact location. Why are satellites important? The bird's eye view that satellites have allows them to see large areas of Earth at one time. This ability means satellites can collect more data, more quickly, than instruments on the ground. Satellites also can see into space better than telescopes at Earth's surface. That's because satellites fly above the clouds, dust and molecules in the atmosphere that can block the view from ground level. Before satellites, TV signals didn't go very far. TV signals only travel in straight lines. So they would quickly trail off into space instead of following Earth's curve. Sometimes mountains or tall buildings would block them. Then, almost instantly, the satellite can send them back down to different locations on Earth. How Satellites Work The main components of a satellite consist of the communication system, which includes the antennas and transponders that receive and retransmit signals, the power system, which includes the solar panels that provide power, and the propulsion system, which includes the rockets that propel the satellite. A satellite has thrusters that are fired occasionally to make adjustments in its position. The maintenance of a satellite's orbital position is called station keeping, and the corrections made by using the satellite's thrusters are called attitude control. A satellite's lifespan is determined by the amount of fuel it has to power these thrusters. Once the fuel runs out, the satellite eventually drifts into space and out of operation, becoming space debris. A satellite in orbit has to operate continuously over its entire lifespan. It needs internal power to be able to operate its electronic systems and communications payload. The main source of power is sunlight which is harnessed by the satellite's solar panels. A satellite also has batteries on board to provide power when the sun is blocked by Earth. The batteries are recharged by the excess current generated by the solar panels when there is sunlight. Parts of a satellite Satellites come in many shapes and sizes, but most have at least two parts in common an antenna and a power source. The antenna sends and receives information often to and from Earth. The power source can be a solar panel or battery. Solar panels make power by turning sunlight into electricity. Many NASA satellites carry cameras and scientific sensors. Sometimes these instruments point toward Earth to gather information about its land, air and water. Other times they face toward space to collect data from the solar system and universe. How do satellites orbit Earth? Most satellites are launched into space on rockets. A satellite orbits Earth when its speed is balanced by the pull of Earth's gravity. Without this balance, the satellite would fly in a straight line off into space or fall back to Earth. The two most common types of orbit are geostationary and polar. A geostationary satellite travels from west to east over the equator. It moves in the same direction and at the same rate Earth is spinning dot from Earth. A geostationary satellite looks like it is standing still since it is always above the same location. Polar orbiting satellites travel in a north-south direction from pole to pole. As Earth spins underneath, 
These satellites can scan the entire globe, one strip at a time. Satellite Applications Advances in satellite technology have given rise to a healthy satellite services sector that provides various services to broadcasters, internet service providers, ISPs, governments, the military, and other sectors. There are three types of communication services that satellites provide, telecommunication services, broadcasting services, data communications. Telecommunication services include telephone calls and services provided to telephone companies, as well as wireless, mobile, and cellular network providers. Broadcasting services include radio and television delivered directly to the consumer and mobile broadcasting services, DTH, or satellite television, services are received directly by households. Cable and network programming is delivered to local stations and affiliates largely via satellite. Satellites also play an important role in delivering programming to cell phones and other mobile devices, such as personal digital assistants and laptops. Data communications involve the transfer of data from one point to another. Corporations and organizations that require financial and other information to be exchanged between their various locations use satellites to facilitate the transfer of data through the use of very small aperture terminal networks. With the growth of the Internet, a significant amount of Internet traffic goes through satellites, making ISPs one of the largest customers for satellite services. Satellites Facts NASA has two satellites chasing each other around the Earth tracking the distance between them to measure gravitational anomalies. Their nicknames are Tom and Jerry. In 1981, India launched its first satellite that was transported on a Knox cart, with the rocket parts carried on the back of bicycles. NASA says there are about 1,100 active satellites, both government and private. Plus there are about 2,600 ones that no longer work. The oldest one still in orbit, which is no longer functioning, was launched in 1958. In 2009 two communication satellites, from the US and Russia, collided. This is the only time two man-made satellites have collided by accident. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.